guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again, and today we are here for another episode of Doll Doctor. If you guys don't know what Doll Doctor is, it is basically a series that I started two years ago where I fix up old American girl dolls. I started this series originally because I was going to fix up all of my best friends' old AG dolls, and then over the last two years, I have fixed up some other dolls that I found at thrift stores or for cheap secondhand. So if you haven't seen any of the other episodes in this series, I will leave them linked in the iCard for you guys to check out after this video, as well as down in the description box below. Below. However, in this episode, we are going to be fixing up the doll that I found at the thrift store for $2. So here she is. You can tell she is not in the best of condition. And as you will see throughout this video, as I get further and further into this repairment, I found more and more problems with this doll. That is why I started this repairment all the way back in April, and I'm finally finishing it now all the way in November. So without further ado, if you guys want to see me fix up the most damaged doll I have ever repaired, go ahead and keep on watching. So first off, like every single doll that I start off with, I start by cleaning them off with a magic eraser. You could use the baking soda and water method, but personally I don't prefer that method because I find that it leaves their skin feeling gritty sometimes, especially between their toes and fingers. But I just do this to get off any dirt or grime that might be on them, and this doll definitely had a lot of it on her. I know some people say that you shouldn't use the magic eraser on their face because it could take off the paint. Personally, I have never experienced this and I really needed to use it because she had like this sticky goop around her eyes that I had to get out. So you can see here is the bowl of very dirty water. I believe we have seen dirtier water on this show, but it still was pretty dirty. And here is where we run into our first problem. I did not know this when I bought her, but she kind of has a really creepy cross on her left arm, which is really alarming and creepy, and I honestly wanted to donate her right back when I saw that, but I was like, I'm just going to give her a chance. I'm going to try and get it off. Here I am showing you some of the marks that did not come off with the magic eraser. The ones around her eye actually came off really nicely, but the next thing we're going to do is take care of this really Really messy hair. So her hair was cut and it was really dry and kind of crazy. So we always start off on this show by washing their hair with some baby shampoo and some moisturizing conditioner just so that way it gives a little bit of life back into their hair and so that way we can get rid of any dirt or gunk that is in their hair because especially with donated dolls, you have no idea where they have been or what they have seen and I just wanna get her as nice and clean as possible. And you can see in this clip, I am using lukewarm water to wash her hair and whenever I rinse it out with water, I make sure I cover her face with a towel so that way we don't get any water accidentally inside of her eye sockets because that could cause them to rust or it can cause mold to grow inside of your doll's head if you don't get them completely dry. And then after that, we just go ahead and brush her hair out and dry it with a towel so that way it doesn't get water everywhere. It's fine if a little bit of water gets on her body cloth, as you can see from these photos here. There is a little bit of water on her body cloth and that is okay because that will dry over time. But the next thing we are going to do is we are going to straighten her hair. I thought about straightening it or curling it, but I decided on straightening it because I could tell that her hair was kind of cut and I don't really know how to cut curly hair to make it a straight line. So I figured I would straighten her hair out just to see how badly her hair was cut. If it wasn't that bad, I thought I would just curl it and fix it up that way. But as I started straightening, I noticed that her hair was was pretty badly cut and very zigzagged and leveled in different ways. As you can see from these photos here, her hair was very, very cut. 
and from this close up you can see just how uneven her hair was. We had some really long pieces in the back there as well as the front as well and I just wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be like that and just cut her hair and make it all level. So the next problem we are going to address before I cut her hair is the creepy cross on her arm. I really wanted to get rid of this and the best way to get rid of any pen or sharpie marks on your doll's arm is through acne cream. And this one had 10% benzoyl peroxide and that is a pretty good amount to use. And I actually used this method and made a video on it about eight years ago now. But basically all you do is you put the acne cream on the spot that you want to remove any ink from and you put the saran wrap around it and then you set your doll out in direct sunlight for multiple hours and then every day I would put her out in the sun like that for multiple hours and bring her in once when the sun had set and I did that for many months. That is the whole reason why this video took so long. Getting rid of that cross as well as a couple of other marks on her arm took me many many months here is an update of how it looked from two months of treatment you could tell that it was definitely much lighter than it was when we first started but it wasn't completely gone and then here is how it looks today you can tell that it is almost completely gone there is kind of a very faint mark of it but really it's not that bad and you can just tell how successful this treatment was on her arm so the last and final step for fixing her up is cutting and evening her hair to make it straight. I decided to leave her hair straight and give her like a bob. So this is all the hair that I ended up cutting off of her head and I cut more of it off camera. So let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after photos of this doll. I'm honestly so obsessed with how she turned out. I feel like looking at her after photos, you wouldn't really even be able to tell that this was the same doll. Like the cross on her arm is almost completely gone in the after photos. I'm so impressed with how that treatment turned out, but I guess persistence and patience really is the key to fixing up a doll that is as damaged as she was. And I mean, for $2, I figured I might as well give her a shot and try to make her look as as nice as I possibly could for as cheap as I possibly could and I didn't even spend any money to fix up this doll because all the supplies that I used to fix her up was already in my house so I am really impressed that for two dollars I was able to salvage this doll into a doll that looks brand new basically. So I'd love to know down in the comments below what you guys think of her. I actually don't have a name for her yet. I was kind of wondering if I should do like Becky or Becca since she is a Rebecca doll. I mean, I already do have a Rebecca doll so I'm not going to keep the name Rebecca and I don't know if Becky or Becca are too cheesy or close to Rebecca. So definitely leave any name suggestions you have for her down in the comments below and also your comments on what you think of her. How do you think she turned out? And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. And don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see behind the scenes of my channel as well as a bunch of cute photos of my dolls. And with that, I will leave you guys to the rest of the before and after photos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!